Okay guys, so uh, here's the last part of this video uh, series on this shock. Still got another one to go, but on this one, uh, got all that that I said I would get done. Uh, I filled this up with 120 some odd pounds of air. And I'm just going to show you guys how to test if this is leaking. Uh, all you're going to want to do is just take it out and sand it up like this, and then just push and you know get the shock to go down and then when it comes up if it's leaking you'll see the ring of oil and this one is not hold on you gotta really step on it to get it to go down and this one isn't you don't see any rings of oil on there which is good so let me set this back down And uh, this part of the video, um, I'm just going to be putting the spring on, but I'm done with this for now. I'm going to drain the air out when I get it filled with nitrogen. It's $19.75 at my local store, so um, that's pretty cheap. Um, so you got the little cover bag on. I'm going to be greasing these bearings. I already took them out and cleaned them, but I'll just show you the easiest way I think is to put these in. So I group them in four. And there's one group of two because there's 26 bearings. And um, I'll show you how I put those in. But right now, we're going to do the spring. So we have these turned all the way back. This one's all the way back. And yeah, all the way back. And then this one's all the way back uh, to that one. And what we do is the spring only goes on one way. Because um, it will not slip over or fit in this part it only go on one way and I know that one way is like this so just slide on you'll be able to tell because um, you see it fits if you put it on the other way it would not be fitting in here you'd notice that would be wrong uh, next step is to get the little ring here and uh, this you slide it over the top here and it's going to sit there, and you should have the little gap for that, uh, this last little clip. And the last little clip sits in the groove on here. And I'll show you. I'm just spreading it apart over here. And it snapped in. And I'll snap it on the other side. And you see it, it's sitting in the groove. Then this collar just backs right back up. And it sits there and holds the spring. And now we got. A loose spring so tighten up the spring until it gets tight um, you got to reset your sag on the bike but for now you know I'm just turning the spring the big one not this one and you can just turn the whole spring itself but I'm just turning the collar here until I feel it get tight and stop Oops, sorry get you guys back up there and it's starting to get tight. You can see it's starting to back up against this. There's not a gap anymore. And uh, now that it's nice and tight, slide this collar up to it and just leave it a little bit loose. And that's back together. Um, pretty simple, you know, springs on. And if you didn't take out your bearings to clean them, you'd be done, but I did. So I'm going to show you guys the way I do this, and it works pretty good. Sorry, I'll pick up the camera in a minute. Um, let me just get this positioned to where you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Just give me a few seconds here. Okay, what I do to get all the bearings back in is first I'm going to re-clean this hole because I got some oil and some grime in it. So I'm just going to wipe it out real good. Let me see if I could set my camera head on the shock somehow. Oh, so close. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. It's not the best view, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just 
put a little brake cleaner on this and use it to clean this all out because there is some grime in there now and then just clean from both sides and all my little pin bearings my needle bearings are all nice and clean still because I just took them out of the bag and um, so now this is nice and clean and what I do is instead of putting them in all one by one by one then they drop on the floor and then you lose them then you gotta buy new bearings what I do is pretty simple take some grease big glob why not and just kind of get it in the hole and just get it all the way around inside that race just to get it to kind of stick so you can see there's a whole bunch of grease then I take a another little glob and I take one of these little bearings and I or the sets and they stick right to my finger I just smear it on then kinda of find that race inside there and tuck them in get another glob of grease get another pack of bearings or a little bunch of four and do the same thing in a different spot just kinda of tuck them in and I keep doing the same thing and it's just it's really efficient at getting these in and it's keeps you from losing them too because uh, you know the grease you know holds them all together obviously and you know they're nice okay get some more got a couple more sets to go but the good part is when they're loose you don't have to go to a new spot every time you can just kinda push and they'll just seat in with some of the other bearings we'll just smush together and uh... you know you can put them on your finger any way that you want to get them in I can actually turn these a little bit on my finger do it over the rag just in case I drop one and then push it in again you can go in from the bottom and then the way I have this set up I can go in through the bottom and push and go through the top and push to get them all sitting where they need to be now I just got six more of these little needles left another group of four and just kinda push and twist with your finger you'll get the hang of it after you uh do your linkage a couple of times and then you do your bearings up here then just the last two I already have enough grease on my finger to pick these two up and same thing just push them right in to where they want to go and make sure they're all sitting nice and flat in there just kinda take your finger and give it a double take and just kinda spin your finger around and get them all in there then I just kind of on each side with the seal I just kind of poke it or just kind of smear a little bit of grease around and grab one of the collars and slide it right in I don't really bother greasing it because I use a lot of grease in the first place and slowly jiggle it through get it to fit without pushing out any of the bearings then flip the shock over try that flipping on the other side there's a lot of excess grease so just kind of wipe it off and onto a rag or something and then get the other collar on and poke that right in there and then this whole shock is done now. All rebuilt, all re-greased. No parts left in the box. Nice and tight. Just got to get it filled with nitrogen. Reset the clickers back to where they were. And it's done. So, um, yeah, I didn't do a disassembly video of this because I did it before I had the camera. But 
I will do one of that. It's a Showa Shock 2, and it's the same concept as this. So, if you watch this on how to put it together, then watch the disassembly of that if you can't understand this or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, I hope to see you guys later. Uh, like these videos. There's going to be a lot more of these instructional videos coming out. Uh, so, like them and subscribe, and you can see all the videos I got. So, uh, yeah, thanks.